Do you know the Mushroom Man? The Mushroom Man? The man who lives on Jesus Christ, what in the mother f is that damage lane? You should know the Mushroom Man, because the Mushroom Man could be you. Now, why would you want to be the Mushroom Man? Let's look at the item description. Raises attack power when something nearby suffers from poison or rot. Now the first thing most people think is to throw on a couple of poison or rot weapons, hoping to proc the effect and get a neat little boost, which is 30% by the way between the talisman and the mushroom crown, and deal some primo damage to their enemies. There is a little bit of a snag though. Poison and rot weapons suck in the damage department, and you can't control when the proc happens. Additionally, with that 30%, they end up basically at normal weapon damage, which is not ideal. Rot is okay at lower levels as a status effect, but poison is straight up terrible all the time. So really, the whole poison boost thing just seems to fall flat. Or does it? Did you know that when it snows, my eyes become... Did you know that you're a something? That the effect takes hold even if you are the one who ends up poisoned? which is easier to do than you might think. Enter the Fetid Pot, or its way better version, the Roped Fetid Pot. A quick way to induce self-poisoning and get a short boost of ultra-ass kickery. The recipe is available as early as you can get to the Mistwood, and all the components are reasonably easy to farm. The only difficult part is the string which drops from demi-humans. A quick trip though with high item discovery and then a way to back up your save goes a long way to relieving any farming frustrations. There are also other ways to poison yourself, but they are either of limited supply or just more difficult to farm. So that's all well and good, a quick, reliable way to turn on get fucked levels of damage for your weapons. But what if I told you that it works on everything? Not just weapons, but also spells and incantations. All types of damage are increased by 30% for 20 seconds, and it can be slapped on any build, if you're feeling frisky. Now, I actually tried this with a whole myriad of builds, just to be sure, and yes, spells, incantations, and all weapons, regardless of the damage type they deal, get boosted by a huge amount. And the best part is that the effect doesn't go away if you cure your poisoning. That's right, you can poison yourself, cure it, and still have a good 15 seconds of face smashing damage to throw around and really surprise those dastardly hosts. Seems to stack with all buffs as well. So this is less of a build video and more of a PSA of a neat thing I found to really get an edge in invasions. It's especially broken on spells which outside of Terra Magica don't really get any buffs to their damage and for good reasons. Because they already melt faces. Now a swift glintstone shard and comet nearly one shot even high health hosts. Though real men use the magic hammer for the absolute fun of it. I leave now with some invasions slash duels I was doing with this setup and it's just classic stupid souls like fun. Unfortunately most of the areas of the game have turned into tryhard city with 3v1 gang parties everywhere, but hey, this is just one way to fight back. Oh, whoop, wait, wrong song, wrong song. Uh, let me see here. Nope, that's not right. Shit. No, that's my outro music. Ah, here we go. A certified tasty jam.
Well, this was good fun. Hopefully you all get some use out of this. More Elden Ring content to come, so if this video entertained or taught you anything, feel free to send a like, subscription, or comment my way to give me a boost in the algorithm. I really appreciate it. Though, I would like to leave one last tidbit. If you, or somebody you know, is a sweaty, no-life ganker who sits in one spot for hours with their equally no-life, over-leveled buddies hoping to get some kind of ego boost in their sad lives from a hugely lopsided match you would have to be brain-dead to lose, please call our helpline at 1-800-GET-BENT. That's 1-800-GET-BENT. One of our associates will be along shortly to cut off your internet connection and save the rest of us from having to deal with you. I mean, you were probably going to disconnect once you started losing anyway. Friends don't let friends gank. Seriously, it's starting to bum me out how many people will sit in one spot for hours taking these lopsided fights. At least make it something fun, like three dudes just doing booty slams. That's all I had for today though. So, thanks for watching and stay safe out there.